The Windows 7 Start menu works great until you're looking for something that's not listed on it. To add a favorite program's icon to the Start button's menu, right-click the program's icon and choose Pin to Start menu from the pop-up menu. Bingo! Windows copies that icon to your Start menu's top left column. To purge an unwanted icon from the Start menu's left column, right-click it and choose Remove from this list. Remember, when you install a program onto your computer, the program almost always adds itself to the Start menu's All Programs area automatically. If you want even more customization, you need to change some properties. To start, right-click the Start button, choose Properties, and click the Start menu's Customize button. Now select the checkboxes by the options you want, or deselect the checkboxes to remove the options. You can also increase the number of programs you want to display by clicking here. For example, you can increase the number of programs from 10 to 12. Now click OK. Do you want Windows to start a program automatically when you turn on your computer? Believe it or not, Windows 7 can automate this task. To make your favorite programs wake up along with Windows 7, follow these steps. First, click the Start button and choose All Programs. Now, right-click the Startup folder icon and choose Open. While holding down the right mouse button, drag and drop your favorite program's icon from the Start menu into the Startup folder. Then choose Create Shortcuts here. Windows 7 automatically places a shortcut to that program inside the Startup folder. If you'd like to customize your taskbar, follow these tips. To add more programs to the taskbar, drag and drop a program's icon directly onto the taskbar. Or, if you spot a favorite program's icon on your Start menu, right-click the icon, and choose Pin to Taskbar from the pop-up menu. For even more customization, right-click a blank part of the taskbar and choose Properties. There are lots of options here. You can lock the taskbar, for example. Doing so protects you from accidentally making changes to the taskbar. Auto-hide the taskbar hides the taskbar when it's not in use. Other options are Use Small Icons, Taskbar Location on Screen, taskbar buttons, notification area, and preview desktop with arrow peak. Remember to hit OK after you select the options you want. Also keep in mind that if you've locked the taskbar, you're going to have to unlock it again before some of these options will work. Do this by removing the check mark by lock the taskbar. Microsoft lets you customize your taskbar even further, often beyond the point of recognition. Some people like adding taskbar toolbars, which tack extra buttons and menus onto their taskbar. Others accidentally turn on a toolbar and can't figure out how to get rid of the darn thing. To turn a toolbar on or off, right-click on a blank part of the taskbar and choose Toolbars. Now click the toolbar or toolbars you want. Choose the desktop toolbar, for example, to place a tiny pop-up menu for quickly browsing to any location in your PC. Don't like the Desktop Toolbar? Right-click the Taskbar again, choose Toolbars, and click Desktop to turn it back off. Some find toolbars to be time savers. Others find them time wasters. Feel free to give them a try and decide for yourself.